So uh, Weezer are continuing like one of their most productive years in their history. You know, they did OK Human, one of my favorite albums they ever did. And Van Weezer, which was amazing and rockin'. I love that one. And uh, and then they have the, the Silly Spongebob song. And they have the uh, uh, Tell Me What You Want from that video game, Wave Break, or whatever it's called. I don't know. Um... And that's going to be a physical single, and now they're unleashing on us. Uh, just last week, there was the Metallica Enter Sandman. Um, I don't know why I said Sandman like that, but Enter Sandman uh, cover. And it's going to be part of this um, Metallica Blacklist record that's coming out. Which, um, you know, we'll see what the results are, but there's a lot of really interesting um, uh, talent doing covers of Metallica, like St. Vincent... Uh, Pup, Diet Sig, Cage the Elephant, uh, who else we got on there as I lean in to scroll down? Uh, Miley Cyrus featuring Watt, Elton John, Robert from Metallica, Yo-Yo Ma, and Chad Smith. What the hell? Uh, pretty sure they're doing Nothing Else Matters there. Uh, Darius Rucker? Is that the guy from Hootie? Um, who else is on here? Cherry Glazer, Kamasai Washington... Uh, I think My Morning Jacket. Anyway, tons of names. Some I don't even know. Corey Taylor from Slipknot's on there. Uh, yeah, so, but Weezer has taken kind of a different route than uh, St. Vincent, who did a, a a cover, which a lot of people really liked. I didn't like it that much, um, but I do like her work, too. Um, but Weezer took a very literal uh, way of doing this, much like a lot of their stuff on Teal album, where they really tried to for authenticity instead of doing their own spin on it. And usually when a band covers a song, I kind of want them to put their own spin on it. Um, I find that more interesting. But uh, but Weezer, I don't know, it's something about them. And Teal Album, they were able to replicate a lot of those songs really well. And even though I didn't like the album initially, uh, it really grew on me. And by the time I did that ranking video, I, I quite liked it, even though it's probably my third least favorite Weezer album, but I still really like it, um, and, uh, but yeah, I always thought, like, when I heard their cover of Paranoid from the TL album, which was one of my favorite ones, and just, like, you know, you get reminded every couple of years, it's like, wow, Weezer can really rock, and Rivers can really shred when he wants to, but, uh, you know, and growing up, you know, they obviously loved their heavy metal, uh, and, you know, Rivers loved Kiss, and, we know now he liked Black Sabbath, and, you know, I'm sure he liked Maiden and all that. But, uh, but yeah, when they play it straight, the heavy stuff, like, obviously there's some really chunky riffs on Maladroud, and, uh, you know, everything will be alright in the end, and then they, they're doing the, the Van Halen, uh, uh, whole style on Van Weezer, and, um, the whole, like, finger tapping thing. Uh, but yeah, when I heard Paranoid on Teal album, and I thought, oh, Rivers should be singing this, but man, what a cool cover and everything. Um, and this is kind of like the dream come true. I thought, they should do Metallica, and, you know, now here we are, how many years? Three years later, or whatever, and they're covering Metallica, and Rivers is singing, so this is great. And yeah, they do it super literally, but it's, I really like it, and, um, and I do like how there's kind of a little... A quick little synth solo that kind of sounds like the Weezer, um, Rick Okasek stuff that they did together. Like, you know, especially Green Album or Everything Will Be Alright era. Uh, it's kind of a little nod to that. Like, you know, this is Weezer playing. But, uh, yeah, I thought it was really cool. And, um, I like how even though they played it really straight, they, they did put that little synth part in. And then at the end they have someone coughing and a lady talking. And then they have... I'm assuming it's Patrick just whistling like, <whistles> like, uh, <laughs> and then it's like, oh yeah, there's the lighthearted Weezer we know, but, uh, yeah, they could do a whole other Teal album too, and, uh, that would be great, and, uh, oh, make it heavy, make a heavy Teal album, the Steel album, there you go, see, now, now my, my brain's, uh, working for them, next career move, the Steel album, and have a big kind of industrial looking cover and they could be standing in front of this steel wall or something like that um but yeah anyway uh i know that it's probably going to be kind of inconsequential and sort of a blip on the radar of weezer's career or 
all the Weezer stuff coming out this year. But, you know, if you're a fan of both, definitely check it out. I can't see really liking the song if you don't like Metallica. But, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I thought it was great. And um, I won't be buying the Blacklist because it's so expensive. And I'm sure that I probably would only like about 50%. But I'm definitely going to listen to it when it's out in that. Um, so yeah, there's the the Metallica Blacklist album, and there's, um, the whole Black Album reissue next month, so there's a super deluxe edition for, like, $150, $200, and then they're just the standard one. Uh, yeah, so, Weezer Wednesday. <laughs> that should be a thing. That'd be cool. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Got another video coming on Friday. Peace out, and take care of yourselves, everyone. Thank you very much.